If you want to define who the North White Artist Group is, I would say the group of seven painted the tree, but we paint the guy who cut down the tree. My name is Dave Rayom. I'm 46 years old. I'm a professional director editor. I've been drawing and painting pretty much all my life. I've been painting seriously more so in the last six years or so. I typically actually paint right here in my kitchen. I've got the windows beside me. I have birds coming to the bird feeder. My source material is Canadian archival photos typically from about, I would say, 1880 to about 1950 or so. The sort of youth of our country, it's when we changed and grew from being a pioneering country toward the more modern age. And what you have is this fantastic archival record of the people who made this country what it is. With the advent of electronics and cameras and video, we've sort of lost the need for artwork to tell stories. I think when you have a strong story in a painting, then people relate to that story. They, they understand that story. They have a sense of who the people are in those pictures. I like to think of these paintings as one frame out of a film strip. So there's, there's a before and after you can sense on either side of these pictures because what the archival photo does is it freezes a particular moment in time. So part of our goal is to take these stories and lift them out of the archive, put them on the canvas, and tell those stories to Canadians. I think the fact that I've been involved in filmmaking and television for my whole career, that translates in, onto the canvas. Firstly, because of that sense of story that we always try to get back to, but even in, in the lighting in a scene. So what I'll do with a scene like this, for example, is once I have the figures and the elements in place, I'll then literally, like an art director, um, light up where I want the light sources to be. For example, a lamp up here, casting, there's a pool hitting here, pools back here. Things are rimmed by rim lights, which is a photographic term, and you get spill from things like the windows. Definitely that sense of, of lighting in cinema is something that I, I feel is important to what I'm doing. I grew up in Ottawa. My whole childhood was spent literally in snow. When I think of being a child, I think of snow. As Canadians, we can really identify with these people. We've been there. We've, we've been like the guy in Heading Home, walking through that winter evening to get home after a long day's work. We've been like the skaters in the Christy Pitts painting, those guys in the ravine uh, late at night, the ravines all lit up. There's the lights from the houses. You can you can hear the skate blades on the ice and hear the puck hitting the boards. To me, translating that sense of, of a winter evening to the canvas is very, very important. That's what I strive to do the most. We want to bring that storytelling and that history back alive. There's these wonderful, wonderful stories and all these people whose lives are, are long since gone and there they exist uh, in the archive, just ready to, to jump back to life. <laughs>